Hey everyone, welcome back to John's Watch. Today I'm taking a look at a new survival game called Green Hell. This game was released on Steam on August 29th, 2018. The trigger price is $22.79 Canadian. That should be $20 US or your regional equivalent. And it's developed and published by Creepy Jar. So as I said, this is a survival game. It is set in the Amazonian rainforest. It has launched in early access. You can tell that from the, the main menu here since the story mode is totally missing. So all we have right now is just uh, regular survival and challenges. So already this is kind of reminding me of the forest. Obviously both set in forests of some sort. The forest did start off with like a little bit of story, um, but most of it came out later. Anyway, the graphics look really nice. Um, let's, let's just do a survival for now. Let's go on normal. Day one in Amazonian forest. You can come up. Um, you do know you have the walkie-talkie, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. You can come up. Just go ahead. Mm -hmm. I need to find something in in my backpack. That sounds really suspicious. Um, what exactly? The gear should already be at the camp. You will know when the time comes. Patience. What? That's really weird. Very well, you can catch up, yes? The path leads through that canyon. Shut up! Mm -hmm. I know. Okay, let's go back down here. <laughs> Shit. Ugh. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, there's there's no different audio sliders right now. Um, can we see? Options, audio. This is it right now, it's just, just regular volume, unfortunately. Can I reply again? Oh, uh, have you tied down the boat? Hey. Jake, um, <laughs> I know this might sound stupid under the circumstances, um, but... I am glad we came back here. Yeah, I feel you. The yeah, place is beautiful. Still. Still. We can't forget what we came here for in the first place, I know. But as soon as we're settled in, I am off to the Jabahuaca village. And what if they will not speak to us? Come on, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You're a phenomenal interpreter. If anyone can communicate with them, it's you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good thing I have an anthropologist at hand, Dr. Higgins. Okay, so they actually do have a bit of story in already, like just a little, little bit, just enough to get you interested in the main story, the full story when it comes out. Um, more than I was expecting for early access, to be honest. So we have to go find a camp. So, so we've got two ways to go. That looks a little bit spooky. But it's the only way we can go. <laughs> let's let's go that way then. These birds are very pretty, but they are very, very loud. Okay, we're not doing too much surviving yet. Wow. I've got a reflection on the ground. It looks really, really nice. It's a little bit kind of juttery sometimes. I don't think you can change the graphic options from inside. Oh no, you actually can. Uh, we still get a little bit of kind of stuttering, even with lowering the graphics, so we'll just leave them on max. Actually, I think there's one more after that, yeah. Okay, it, it also looks like this is part of the tutorial right here, because we've got a skip tutorial option. Uh, I can't sprint or anything at. Ooh, lizards. Oh, but I can fist fight lizards. Oh, great, a camp! We are set. Call Mia. Uh, found a tent. Okay, found the tent. Is everything all right? Um, it's okay. The camp looks impressive. They put up a tent for us. There's even a fire pit. Looks like everything's ready. 
Is Snake there? trail always delivers. At first glance, it looks like we have everything we might need. Perfecto. Um, oh, day two. Didn't, well, didn't see a, a fire pit. We're officially <sighs> settled in. You know what that means, don't you? I remember the agreement, but maybe you should, maybe we should reconsider this. I'm not sure it's the best idea for you to visit them alone. Cariño, you know I have to do this. It's the only way to make them talk. Oh, don't worry. It'll be all right. Better pick up some wood. Let's have a romantic dinner. Romantic canned beans. <laughs> Use your imagination. Well, okay, find a tool for cutting trees. Sick, yeah, good little tutorial. A little bit of lore. Very good. Uh, okay, find a tool. Chopping trees. Like this stick. Take. I've got solar panels out here. God, we're set. Um, wow, they just come out of like these these pelican cases. Oh, here we go. I'm a sheet. Oh, my am a sheet. <laughs> Okay. Let's see to open wheel select notebook, then just like fire bookmark. So this is also like a little bit like um like the forest. You kinda get all your recipes from like inside a journal thing. Okay, let's just set a campfire up inside. <laughs> no. Uh, right there. Um Honey, I can't seem to find a bag or two. Are you sure you brought everything? Yeah, everything the porters left. Why? Is anything missing? I'm not sure yet. Uh, huh. but it feels that way. Ooh. <gasps> what? Oh, great! I turned it into two small sticks. Cool. So yeah, quite quite foresty. Uh, let's just drop these. Oh, I must be getting skills over there. Is that what's happening? My machines, my machine skills. Is that hitting the right thing? I don't know. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> the. Hmm. It's a little bit off sometimes. Ah, uh, small stick. Oh, long stick. Long stick. Can we cut into sticks? Uh, drop. And then expand craft. Oh. Oh. Cool. Okay. Um, cue that. And I think we just chop it. Cool. Oh shit, no, this is still too big. And a regular stick. Oh, good thing I didn't kill that last one. Oh, we still need more regular sticks. Shit. Uh, what about the other thing I chopped down? Small stick. Crap. A log. Harvest? Oh. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Great. Perfect. Use tool to create ember. Well, looks like everything's ready. Mia, can you bring me a lighter? Remember when I mentioned we seemed to be lacking some equipment? <sighs> Hunt, get the campfire started, please. <laughs> How do you know we're missing so much equipment from in there? I'm coming in! <laughs> okay. Press N to open bookmark, uh, notebook and select crafting bookmark. Okay. Hand drill, great. Stick and small stick. So, crafting, craft, um, stick, we need a regular stick now, wow that's a really cool imagery system, okay let's try, and we just need another, another regular stick, lore! Let's 
faster and get this one. Oh, you can really just like smash through it here. Uh, long stick, oh, pa, regular stick. Yes, now we go see craft. Um, sticks, one stick, small stick, hand drill, craft. Hmm. I need to find something dry. Oh, find tinder. Bird nest fiber or some dry leaves. We just like chop this apart. Aha! Banana leaf. Holy shit, they're huge! <laughs> okay. I guess these don't work. <laughs> uh, drop. I'll drop my stack of <laughs> banana leaves. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's another one over there. I'll bring that over here as well. There we go. Yeah, well, it's just like a small leaf. These? Yeah, small leaf pile. That doesn't that doesn't work. Okay. Uh, bird nest. Hmm. Or fiber. That one doesn't work. Oh, there's another banana leaf there. Oh, another stick. Ooh, clean water. Lovely. Oh, there's a stone there. Then we can climb this. Holy crap, we can. What do these drop? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Okay. Oh, there's an egg and a feather here. I'll take those. <laughs> That's great. Maybe these little plants here? Just the small leaf piles. I thought those that would work. Ooh, more sticks. Okay, I have so many small leaf piles. Oh, there's another machete in there. Maybe we can just do it? Uh, backpack? Hand drill. Use. What? Um, I get the leaves. Um, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> so many leaves. <laughs> oh, what am I doing wrong here? Oh, goodbye, little mouse or possum or whatever you were. Hmm. Really struggling with this a little bit. There's a fruit here. Small leaf pile. Good. I have lots of dry leaves, I think. Ooh, bananas. Ooh, lovely. Oh, so many bananas. Can I chop this? Whoa. Okay. Oh, I found dry leaves, but I can't pick it up. I've got... I've just got so many palm leaves. Dry leaf? It's there. It's there somewhere. Hello? <laughs> Where, <laughs> where's the dry leaf? Uh Okay, let's get over here. Drop these palm leaves. I got it. I can't really tell what it looks like, though. Because it's covered in these fucking palm leaves, which I better take back. Hmm. There's just a thing on the ground that'll be... Dry leaf. Okay. Phew. Maybe I can grab this one as well. Nope, okay. Okay. Let's get these leaves down. Lovely. Okay. So, go to our backpack. We get this thing. Use. Drag kindling from backpack. 
and drop on fire tool slot, okay? Uh, dry leaves. Okay. Whew. So this should just light on fire, right? Oh, Mia. The fire is burning. <laughs> Coming. Give me a minute. Whew. That was hard. <laughs> Jeez. How do you do it? Hmm? What? You seem so calm. I am calm. I don't know how to explain it, but strangely, it feels safer here than there. Oh, I don't know. Jaguars, venomous spiders, and snakes. Let's not forget the scorpions. <laughs> Mere ant's bite hurts like hell. I am well aware of that. But still, we have a chance to achieve something. Make a difference. At home, all we could have done was be helpless and wait. I prefer the wilderness. No, you're right. I'm optimistic. We're gonna find answers. Hell, it'll be here. This time we need to pay attention to the slightest details. Last time I must have missed something. Last time, you were only making general observations. This time, we have a specific goal. Nonetheless, I'm a bit worried about you meeting the Yabawaka. Everything will be fine. I need to go alone. We already agreed that's the only way. Besides, they don't seem to like you. They don't seem to like outsiders. They shot arrows at a military chopper. Hard to blame them. Since you published your book, they've been under siege by the media, scientists, doctors. The World Health Alliance established a medical camp and probably performed research, violating the tribe's taboos. But I will convince them. I have to. Day three. Is she gone yet? Uh huh. Search the tent. Done. Done. Aha, she's left, right? My village, call me the radio when you wake up. There's a little gift for you, love Mia. Well, thanks. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to leave the video there for now. Um, this was a look at Green Hell, the early access version. These mushrooms just fall. Oh no, nut. Nice. Um, yeah, uh, an early access survival game set in an Amazonian rainforest. If we look in our notebook, um, there's going to be all kinds of entries that will be added once we like get into the game. Um, but for now we can already see like we'll have to search out plants to make bandages and stuff like that. Uh, on the, the Steam page there's screenshots for like how to cure venom wounds and stuff from snakes. Um, I think this is just kind of like a little early guide. This is how to fight. Uh, still nothing much in fire. It's okay. It's calm down. Nothing in water yet. Nothing in traps and nothing in homes. So more will definitely be coming, um, especially because I'm still just in the tutorial right now. But it actually looks, it looks huge. It looks really, really in depth. There's like, I mean, how many different types of food have we already found? Like four or five. I've got eggs. Uh, we've got fruits, bananas, nuts. Mushrooms, uh, coconut. <laughs> oh, can I throw it? No, but I'm keeping it. So yeah, there's a, a lot going on in the game. Um, this is Green Hell. Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.